It was a close one between Maryland and Minnesota as the two stayed within a couple points of each other for the majority of the game. In the end, though, the Terps were unable to close it out. A bright spot for the Terps was even Bender, who stepped up in the absence of Michael Tchaikovsky. He ended with a game-high 15 points, going 7 from 10 from the field, including a couple emphatic dunks. You know, one thing that we've talked about is just being better defensively, and we weren't tonight. We weren't, we weren't good enough defensively. We couldn't guard them. Uh, we rebounded better, starting to become a better rebounding team. Minnesota was just, they, they were terrific. We did a lot of nice things offensively um, until about the eight-minute mark, and then we weren't quite weren't, weren't good enough down the stretch, and I'll take the blame for that. All right, Jalen, so even had a monster first half tonight. Despite the loss, what does this big contribution mean to you guys after losing Checo this season? Um, I feel like Evan's going to have to play a lot of minutes now that Checo's out. Uh, he's going to have to give us a lot of rebounds, uh, a lot of putbacks on offense. Uh, tonight was just a stepping stone for him just to get his confidence up. Uh, I feel like he's going to be a big part of this team as the season goes on. What's it going to take from everyone on the team to get back on track? I think we should believe in each other and stick together uh, till uh, Saturday and be ready, prepared, come ready to practice on Friday and just be together and be, we didn't like... We didn't forget how to play basketball. We just have to be together and believe in each other. The Terps host Iowa this Saturday, February 25th at 6 p.m. For Terrapin Hoops, I'm Claudia Pagan.